So this is a lie, not the machine, but the price. Look at this, they've got this marked down by 200 bucks, but it's not really on sale. Actually looking at the price history, it was even cheaper in July. And I'm not just picking on Xtool, pretty much all manufacturers do this. And going into the Labor Day weekend, there are a lot of sales going on. So I actually want to show you machines that actually are on sale right now, as well as how you can find out in the future. Okay, so coming over to my site, machinesformakers.com, um, basically you can see pretty much any of the price history on uh, all of these. You can see the uh, longer B1, it's like jumped up in price just a little bit. But if you actually wanna see the current deals that are going on, uh, I have mentioned this before in a previous video when I've talked about pricing and like new products being released, but I've basically put together a price tracking tool uh, that is doing all this on the back end. And so uh, you can sign up and get access to it as well as I'll just shoot you an email once a week of the current deals that I know that are going on that have changed in the last week if you just forget to look at the site. But I do wanna point out some specific deals that are going on right now leading into uh, Labor Day. So I'm actually going to switch this uh, to 30 days. So meaning anything that has had a price drop in the last 30 days and switch over to our grid view. Uh, and then uh, you can actually see, uh, is this like an all time low? And so that's what new low is. So all of these machines are currently at the lowest they've ever been uh, from like when I started tracking back in April. Uh, and then a few of these have like matched their uh, previous low. Uh, and then some of these have just had like a price reduction, um, even though it may not be as low as it's always been. So actually the WeCreate Vision 40, looks like they probably had like a July 4th promo going on. Uh, and so they might actually drop going into the weekend We'll see. But a few specific ones I wanted to highlight. Glowforge surprisingly has a pretty substantial deal. They've just uh, cut costs on the Pro HD by $1,000, which is wild. Uh, they normally don't run a ton of promos and then $500 off um, with the Plus HD. Uh, and actually with Glowforge, uh, if you just go through my link, uh, which is over here at the promo codes, um, that's gonna give you automatically $500 off. So it's really $1,500 and $1,000 dollars off uh, for those machines if those promo codes still apply. And then another one that's had a pretty substantial price drop is the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. Uh, Creality has some new machines coming out, so they're probably trying to clear out some old stock. Um, so this is falling into that. Uh, but a 60 watt diode, uh, that's actually a really, really good price, uh, less than 2000 bucks. But then if we just kind of look across manufacturers, uh, that are several that have really dropped their prices recently. So EM Smart, um, pretty much all of their main machines uh, they have a pretty good discount, including this like massive discount on their Mopa machine. Uh, they've dropped that down $1,800. And going along with the fiber theme, I think Ohmtech has come out with some newer versions of their fiber machines that are autofocus. So they've dropped the prices on some of their older machines. You can see that here, right there. And then one of my favorite manufacturers and machines that I recommend a good bit uh, are from One Laser. So both a desktop CO2 machine uh, and like a full out cabinet style CO2 machine. They're not at like all time lows, but they've cut their price recently seven to six percent going into the holiday weekend. And then saving the most drastic price reductions for last is actually from Thunder. I actually don't get any type of affiliate kickback for Thunder. I just think they do a really good job, but they have drastically cut the prices because they're trying to get rid of stock. So these I know won't last very long, uh, but if you are in the market for uh, any of these type machines, I know these prices are pretty insane. If you're just looking at a little simple diode, uh, then these could be really good ones to get. Because again, even at the Nova 24, just a straight up $1,200 price drop in the middle of August. Now, one other thing that I guess kind of relates to prices is when a manufacturer releases a brand new machine, a lot of times they'll do some type of pre-sale with a discount. Uh, and an X-Tool is notorious for that. And they actually just announced this week uh, their X-Tool P3, uh, which is their upgraded version of the original X-Tool P2 and X-Tool P2S. I am planning on getting one of these machines in the shop uh, to do like a full review on it. So you can see now they're gonna give you $1,000 off um, if you pay the $100 deposit. Uh, that is before whatever 12 days is from now. So this might be old news depending on when you're looking at it. And my initial take of this, it is basically X-Tool improving on what they already do really well uh, with still kind of the drawbacks that you get with X-Tool. So on the good side of things, uh, it's got a good size work bed and I think they are, and they're increasing that size to 36 by 18 inches. Now they also are increasing the speed and the acceleration on this machine. And I'm really interested to actually test this out um, to see how this matches up all the way up to 1200 millimeters per second, 
which is like on par with like one laser or thunder, kind of the high end CO2 machines. And they're still gonna bring over all the really nice auto positioning, the dual cameras, um, everything we've talked about with the P2 and the P2S. And then one nice thing to see is um, they're kind of taking uh, the modular design that they've got with their M1 Ultra and even kind of with the S1 behind me um, where you can like replace the modules. And in those cases, those are diodes. So in this case, you still have your normal housing for the CO2 lens focus system. Cause again, the laser is actually generated on the back of the machine, but next to it, um, you can drop in an IR module. And this basically looks identical to what you can get on the S1. Um, so it's nice that they're kind of adding that on to the carriage. And because that laser is basically like self-contained, meaning it's generated in that module itself, it'll be interesting to see uh, if they're gonna bring over additional modules um, so you can kind of swap them out as needed because having a nice high power CO2 is great, but also having diodes opening up to being able to do other things. And specifically an IR module allows you to do engravings on metal uh, without needing like a proper fiber machine. Now, something else that I'm really interested to see is how they are doing uh, their rotary. So they've talked about how the focus is using LiDAR. And so that's how they're mapping the shape of this cup. Uh, but they're calling it a mag swap. So kind of borrowing from Apple and like MagSafe. So I imagine this is going to magnetically lock in and then maybe you can screw it into place, uh, which will be really handy because currently it's a little bit goofy how you have to mess with the rotaries. So having like a really easy system where this locks in and will make the rotary process of using a CO2 laser a lot easier. And also it looks like they've got their next version of their uh, filter unit uh, that is more for heavy duty stuff. But all that being said, you still get the main drawbacks that we have with Xtool. The first one can actually be a pro or a con, and that's the fact that you are locked into their software, um, Xtool Creative Space, which is great, but there's also a lot of pro users that really enjoy using Lightburn. So just know if you get pretty much any Xtool product, you're locked into their software, but their software has improved vastly over the years as well, and is totally capable to do most of the stuff you'll need it to do. Uh, and then the other big drawback with uh, Xtool just in general is the price. So they definitely are more at a premium price point. So I actually have a compare feature over on my site uh, where you can load up different machines. And so I have some like competitors more or less uh, for your kind of bigger desktop CO2 machines. Uh, so you can see the direct comparison uh, to their older P2S. Price is currently tied at the highest uh, with the other one being the Glowforge Pro HD, which has always been like super overly priced. But looking at machines from like One Laser or GWIC or even Ohm Tech, it's definitely on the high end. But a lot of these aren't gonna have the same like tight camera focused integrations and to some of like the ease of use that you're gonna find with the P3. Now, one other thing that's gonna be interesting to see is uh, them talking about 12,000 millimeters per second. Uh, and I need to update what this actually is, but the acceleration is like high up there as well. Because you still are using a G code based controller uh, versus a DSP based controller. And so DSP is what you're gonna find on the XT, also the Thunderbolt, which I forgot to bring in here as well. And those also are the same type of controllers that you're gonna get on higher end industrial machines. And so they are able to process stuff, give you real time feedback, um, just overall uh, they're nicer for the control versus a G code style controller um, is actually what you have in your diode machines. And these cheaper ones from like GWIC, Monport, and ohm tech and I, and I know in the past speed and acceleration has actually been a big limiter on using a g-code controller um so it's going to be interesting to get this machine in test it out and kind of see how it compares versus those higher end dsp style machines now as i'm working on the review video i would love to actually answer the questions you have about the p3 so let me know down in the comments and if you'd rather not wait for the p3 to come out and you want to get a machine right now again check out my deals at the link down below all right until next time go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.